Tucked away on this very quiet side street of San Juan City is this sprawling residence that once upon a time also served as a preschool. It now is one of the hottest and best reviewed new restaurants in all of Metro Manila. This is Moon Rabbit. So here's the question people are asking. How come the food here at Moon Rabbit is so good? Is this a brand new restaurant run by yuppies, millennials? Actually, here's the story. The family that runs Moon Rabbit has been in the restaurant business since the time of their grandparents. So this is now run by the third generation. They've been given a free reign by their parents and their amas to run their restaurant as you will. And, and what's the food like? The food is a combination of everything that's good about Asia. There's a lot of Singaporean influences, Southeast Asian. There's clay pots from Hong Kong. There's a little bit of China, the Sichuan dishes, and even a lapu-lapu with a Filipino influence. So basically, a best of Asia. And there's always a twist. There's always something new here from the plating to the presentation. And obviously, the cooking is impeccable. We have their signature yang chow, and the yang chow has Chinese chorizos. I'm not talking right now, but I'm, no, but I'm smiling while I'm chewing. This is the perfect combination. So we've got the, the richness. parts are the best parts, of course. Balanced and offset and complemented by the chorizo and the rice. Classic yang chow, classic combination. And now, the piece de resistance, the masterpiece, the yang chow fried rice. And um, you know what I do? I actually take this home, and uh, sometimes after a night of drinking and partying, you go home, you want something like recovery food. This is the perfect recovery food. We're here at Shantung Restaurant on West Avenue QC. And you know what? Shantung has been open since 1958 in a different regional location, of course. But Justin, my friend Justin Shan, it's my first time in your family restaurant. So 1958, tell me how Shantung started. Uh, my grandfather started from Benedict Air. He came from China. Where was he from in China? Shantung province. Shantung. So Shantung is a province, so there you go. Did you know that the mortar that binds the bricks of the Great Wall of China is actually made from rice? Yes, sticky rice mixed into a paste with calcium carbonate. During the 15th and 16th centuries, when China was being in danger of overrun by barbarians, that's what they used, rice to build the Great Wall of China. And guess what? Almost 500 years later, it still stands. Okay, yeah, improve on that. Mm -hmm. The rice we stir fry first. Then we're using those. Because inside, I can see it now. Yes, it's your regular fried rice. It's yes, fried regular rice fried rice. First. Gravy. Then the premium side terms. What's the gravy? Is it oyster sauce? It's a, this is a comfort food. This is what you will eat or you will enjoy after a long night of drinking. Yes. Then before you go home, you need some carbs, some sort of that. And for you to, this would be, this is spectacular when it's super hot with all the gravy and the rice. And that's all you need, right? So it's a meal in one. You've got rice, you've got fried rice, you've got a specific taste of fried rice. And then you pour this wonderful gravy on it with all the good stuff, like you said. Roll stuff. Mm -hmm. Then you uh, scallops. Mm -hmm. Then you shrimps, carrots, right. mushrooms. Apple juice. You're this. <laughs> so, when you go to Red Lantern, forget your fake keto diets, okay? okay. Good thing I'll have a diet. No, no intermittent fasting, nothing. <laughs>
just yeah, you know, you're, not, you're not gonna go here every day. This is a very special place, right? And uh, save this for I know it's special people because a lot of the food here, Fred Panther, is really very special. I don't really see them anywhere. Else. They give you the surprise, yeah. then they give you the kind of feeling. Wow.